So now we're going to move into our cool down and we're going to use our long towel. So just lay it across your mat. And just lay on back, squeezing your knees into your chest, massaging your lower back. We're just going to take a little bit of core here before we wind down too much. So bring your hands behind your head, keeping your knees bent, and you're going to take the opposite elbow to the opposite knee, just moving into your yogi bicycles. If you want more, you can extend your legs straight, taking the scissors. Taking as many reps or as little reps as you'd like. Now we're going to hold the twist, doesn't matter which way. You take the bottom toe up to the top heel for five, back down, four, Breathe, three, two, and one. Switch the twist, switch your legs. Bottom toe to the top heel for five, four, three, two, and one. Feet to the sky, arms down by your sides. Let your legs drain out. Maybe take a cleansing breath. Now supporting the lower back with your hands, slowly start to lower your heels, flex feet down and hover just a couple inches off your mat, and then point the toes to come back up. Flex to go down, and point to come up. We're going to do three more reps. If you want more, you can take more. Two. And last one. Release, bend your knees, hug them in, and then draw the soles of the feet down to the mat. Bringing your feet comfortably apart, reach down for your heels, see if you can touch your heels, and then start to lift your hips up, taking a back bend of your choice, just stretching out your belly, energizing your spine. If you'd like a little bit more, you can interlace your fingers behind your back, shimmy your elbows closer together. Take three more breaths. and then release and slowly roll down. So if you'd like to take a modified pigeon, which is a hip opener, you can stay on your back and cross the right ankle over the left knee and reach through your legs for your left shin. So you want to feel this in your right hip, not your right knee. Our yin poses we hold for a longer period of time in order to allow our bodies to open up. So give yourself about a minute or two in this pose. If you'd like more, you can extend your legs straight. If you'd like your strap, you can grab onto your strap, hook it around your heel, and then pull the leg to you that way. So you're not only getting a stretch in your right hip, but you're getting a stretch along your left leg as well. Holding this pose for about a minute. and gently switch sides. Shaking out your legs, getting some blood flow down to the toes. And bend your right knee, bring the left ankle across the right knee. Reach through your legs for your right shin and pull it to you. You can stay right here if and only if you want more. Take the right leg straight, maybe grab onto your strap and pull your leg in that way.
and then releasing. Other option for a deep hip opener is if you rock yourself up and take pigeon pose. Bringing your right leg forward, left leg directly back. So you want to be on top of your left kneecap. Make sure the right knee comes to the side of your body so you're folding over the ankle calf region of your right leg. Set up the lower body so then you can dive in with your upper body. Fingertips forward, heart and head down. Again, holding this for one to two minutes. Connecting to the breath, disconnecting from the thoughts in the mind. When you're ready to come out of it, gently walk your hands back. You can bend your left knee, reach back for your left foot with your left hand. Maybe even grab your strap for a little bit more added support. And switch. Sweep your left leg around and sweep your right leg back. Setting up your lower body, coming right on to the top of the right kneecap, as well as having the left knee to the side of your body. And then start to lead with your fingertips and dive down with your heart. Just settling in, finding a deeper inhale, followed by a longer exhale. When you are ready to come out of it, slowly walking your hands back. If you'd like to reach back for your right foot with your right hand or take your strap around your toes. And release. Now sweeping both legs around to the front. Circling out the ankles, getting some blood flow down to the toe tips. You're going to draw the soles of the feet together, knees wide apart. Peeling your feet open like a book to encourage the legs to come down a little bit more. Looking forward, and then as you dive with your chin and a straight spine, encourage your heart to come closer to the earth. Once you hit your limit, take an inhale back off. And exhale so you can go a little bit deeper. Be patient with yourself. No force, just ease. Holding this for about a minute. When you're ready, gently coming out drawing your knees together, and then side to side, like big windshield wipers, massaging your hips. And gently kick your heels away, moving your fleshy parts away from the sits bones, rooting down. Maybe flex your toes back so much that your heels come up off the mat. And then reach your fingertips to the sky, get a lot of length, and then dive forward and down. Maybe you grab your strap and use the strap. Holding for about a minute. And then release. And slowly roll all the way back onto your back. Couple options here. If you'd like to keep your tailbone on the mat, just lift your feet up to the sky, letting your legs drain out. If you'd like to rock your feet all the way up over your head for a plow pose, supporting your lower back with your hands, shimmy your elbows closer together, and lock your chin into your chest to protect your neck. If you still want a little bit more, maybe reach your feet to the sky, taking a shoulder stand. 
This is so good for our bodies, this pose, if you think about how much time we spend on our feet. So just simply reversing the flow of gravity, allowing your organs to breathe, flushing out your thyroid, your lymphatic system, and naturally relaxing your nervous system. Take as much as you need here, and when you've had enough, just drape your knees back down around your ears, making yourself into a tight little ball. And then vertebrae by vertebrae, rolling down. Until you're flat on your back. Palms up, feet just naturally open up. One last cleansing breath. Shavasana. <sighs> 